Outside of the courtroom, this case was often overshadowed by the politics of illegal immigration in sanctuary cities. But inside the courtroom, immigration barely came up. The defense focusing on evidence they say showed that this was an accident. But this morning, Kate Stanley's father saying that he was shocked by this verdict and justice was not served. The fate of Jose Garcia Zarate was read in front of a packed courtroom. Not guilty on the most serious murder charges, guilty of one secondary charge, felony possession of a weapon. The verdict that came in today was not one we were hoping for, but I think it's unequivocal. Both sides gave it their all. This jury's verdict should be respected. They heard the evidence. They deliberated as a group. They heard readback testimony. In the summer of 2015, 23-year-old Kate Steinle was shot in the back while on a walk with her father along San Francisco's popular waterfront pier known as Embarcadero. Police arrested Garcia Zarate, a homeless felon and an undocumented immigrant who had been deported five times. Three months before the deadly shooting, Garcia Zarate had been released from jail after a drug charge was dropped, but immigration officials were never notified. During the campaign, then-candidate Donald Trump seized on the case as proof that the U.S. needed his proposed border wall. Kate in San Francisco, this magnificent young woman, shot in the back by a guy that was sent over here, probably pushed over, who knows? Overnight, President Trump weighing in, tweeting, a disgraceful verdict in the Kate Steinle case. No wonder the people of our country are so angry with illegal immigration. But during the trial, the immigration debate took a back seat to a case that hinged on whether the killing was intentional or whether it was accidental. Defense experts demonstrating the bullet ricocheted before hitting her and that he had never aimed the weapon at Steinle, insisting it went off accidentally. A theory the Steinle family seemed to dismiss in an interview before Thursday's verdict. I think he did shoot toward, toward them, which was very upsetting to me, but... You know, I was hoping it was, was just a ricochet and wasn't aimed. Now anger and politics once again surrounding the family's heartbreaking loss. We somehow or another amazingly got caught up in, in immigration and, and Trump. This was the death of my daughter. Nothing's changed except Kate's not here. And back here at Pier 14, there are candles and there is a picture of Kate Steinle. These were left here by a group of self-identified white nationalists last night. Uh, they came and they left messages, including build a wall. And then the reverberations of this verdict have been felt all the way to the White House. This morning, President Trump also sending out uh, some more tweets saying the Kate Steinle killer came back and back over the weekly protected Obama border, adding this info was not used in court. His exoneration is a complete travesty of justice and build the wall. Back to you guys. All right, Gotti. Gotti Schwartz, thanks so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.